Bochum under 19's coach Heiko Butcher was drafted in at short notice to take over from Thomas Rice, who, after losing the first six games of the season, had been relieved of his duties. The caretaker's coach's first task was to take on a Köln side unbeaten away from home. With the threat of being the first Bundesliga side to lose their first seven games of a season clearly on their minds, Bochum took the game to the visitors from the first whistle. Nine minutes in, Gerrit Holtmann's speculative cross was turned inadvertently past his own keeper by Benno Schmitz for what was only Borham's fifth goal of the campaign. The goal stunned the Billy Goats. And with the home crowd roaring them on, Borham tried to pile on the pressure. They very nearly extended their lead ten minutes later. But the post denied Gerrit Holtman a first goal of the campaign. Köln struggled to cope with the home side's enthusiasm. A first Bundesliga own goal for Benno Schmidt separated the signs at the break, but Borchum were looking anything but comfortable. The introduction of Linton Miner added a new dynamic to the visitors' play, and he went close with just under 15 minutes to go. But Manuel Riemann in the Borchum goal could feel the approach of a first clean sheet of the season and stopped his efforts. Köln continued to give it all they had to try and score, as Borham did likewise to keep them out. Substitute Sargis Adamian found the same post that had frustrated Gerrit Holtman in the first half, still as uncooperative as his opponent had, as time started to run out for Köln. But with two minutes to play, Köln finally got what they wanted. Linton Miner got a second chance to score his first Bundesliga goal for Köln, and he took it, drilling the ball between Riemann's legs for the equaliser, which Köln just about deserved after making heavy work of the game. It wasn't the dream start Butcher and Borchum had wanted, but it did avoid an unwanted record as Borchum got their very first point of the campaign.